Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can install the deepfake first auto model a Python application on a Windows computer. So basically, we will animate this image with this video to produce something like this. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now in this video, we will be installing this Python application by Ali Asunder. Here are all the details for this Python application. So we will make this application run on our PC. So the first thing we need to do is install Python. There are numerous applications that can install Python, but we will use Anaconda. Open the browser and search for Anaconda. This is the one, click on it and simply download it. This can install Python 3.9. Anyway, download and the download will begin. I will cancel this for now as I've already downloaded it. I will close this all. So here is the Anaconda, let me install it. and navigate accordingly. This installation will take a few minutes. So it's almost done. I will untick this and finish. So the Anaconda has been installed. To open it, simply search Anaconda. So this is the command file. Run it as an administrator. So after this is opened, the first thing we need to do is create an environment and install Python. To do that, type conda create dasan and give any name you want. I will write the fake python is equal to 3.7. Please note, we did try with 3.9 but it did not work. And press enter. This will create an environment named deepfake with 3.7 python y and enter so this has been installed now we need to activate deepfake you will have to activate it every time you want to use it to activate type conda activate deepfake and enter so here you can see deepfake after this is done go back to this space and download all of this code. Click on code and download as zip. So it's downloaded. So in folder, open this and I will extract it to the desktop. So here are all the Python files. Now we need to get inside this folder on Anaconda prompt. For that, simply copy the URL and here type cd space and paste it and enter. So we are inside the folder. Now we need to run this code to install all the requirements. Copy this and paste it here and enter. Now everything has been installed. However, there is some error for NumPy. So let's install NumPy. For that, type conda install dash c anaconda numpy and enter. Y and enter. So it has been installed. Now to check if everything is working or not, type python demo.py. So here is an error. No module named YML found. Actually, there is a list of modules that will be needed to install to run the application. Let's first install YAML. For that, type conda install dash c conda forge py yaml and enter. So it has been installed. You will require to run python demo.py again and again to see the missing modules 
and install it. I will provide the list of missing modules that needs to be installed, but it may depend as per your PC. Anyway, install TQDM, install Image.io, install Scikit. Please make sure to install 0.18 version as newer versions did not work. Install PyTorch. Install Asklearn. Install Pandas. Install Touch Vision. Install FFMPZ. Install Image.io FFMPZ. Install Image.io PYAV. So after all this installation, let's run the demo again. If everything is installed correctly, you will see this message. We now need to specify the source image, source video, checkpoints, etc. After specifying everything, we can animate our image with the video. Let's again go back to the instruction page. Now we need to run this code. Let me copy this and paste it to the notepad. We need to add this dataset name which is in the python files folder. Let me open the folder. It is inside the config folder. You can use any of these datasets but I will use this one. Let me copy the exact name by renaming and copying and replace it here. For the driving video, I have a video here that I want to use. You can create your own video as you like. So this is the expression I like to use and this is the image. Let me copy this and paste it in the same folder. So here is the image which is in the PNG format and here is the video file in MP4 format. So replace the path to driving with the video name and its extension. You will not require to add this whole address here for this video address. Likewise, let's add an image address. For source image, replace with the image name and add its extension. Now we also require the checkpoint. For the checkpoint, again go to the web page and here is the link to download the checkpoint. You can use either of these two links. For now, I'll click on Google Drive and here you can download any checkpoints and you can use any checkpoint as you want. All you have to do is click on this icon to download. The file size is about 700 MB, so I have already downloaded it. So I have this file downloaded. Here is the file I downloaded earlier. Let me copy this to the same Python folder. I will put it inside the config folder but you can keep it anyway. Let me copy the file name and replace it in the path name here. Also add config in front as it is inside the config folder. Don't forget to add the extension .tar. Actually you do not need this slash. Anyway, a quick recap. This is inside the config folder. 
We are using this one. Driving video is the video used to animate the image. So this is the video here. The source image is the image we want to animate. Here is the image and the checkpoint is what we downloaded earlier and kept inside the config folder. And do not forget to add .tar extension. Now let's copy this code and paste it here. Here, Torch is not compiled with CUDA enabled. This is because of the graphics card. Since this laptop does not have a graphic card, it is displaying an error. If you have a card and want to use that, simply Google Anaconda CUDA install and click on this link and install the CUDA version as per the requirements. But since this PC does not have a card, I will not install CUDA. So instead, I will use the CPU to create the video. To do that, in the earlier code, add double dash, CPU and space. Also note that if any module is missing here, you will first need to install it. Anyway, let's try to copy this code and paste it here. So this seems to work, but please note the processing takes some time. So this has been done. You will see the final video here with the name of result.mp4. Let me open it. So here is the final output. So this is how you can install deepfake Python application to your Windows PC. Thank you very much.